Hey, 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 YouTubers, look what we got here. I got a new toy, an Outback Power Flex Max 60 charge controller. And you know what they always say about Outback. They are the best, one of the best amongst the rest. So this is going to go right into the system. It's going to go right into the system. So, and before I open up the... Uh, the box I want you guys to come with me or to you guys to help me out well this is all the way from Minnesota here we know we don't normally have bad weathers and all the uh, we don't have that kind of nice 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 long summer and up to now we still have snow we just got about eight inches snow um, right at March coming to you no know, we, we already started um, uh, summer so let me don't talk about the weather that much let's concentrate into the Outback Flex Max 60 that's gonna go right to the system right there anyway I took a lot of stuff you know I've been doing some upgrade and removing some stuff I don't want I want to upgrade some all uh, powered machines and here comes to the batteries now these are 155 amp hour batteries and a total of 450 amp hour into the system. So I have um, uh, a GTI power inverter, no, grid tight inverter, 500 watt. You know, and uh, this is going to be the second video, third video right on the command center right there i'm gonna put it right there i took some of the other stuff out but i don't want you guys to miss out i want you guys to be part of this youtubers here we go anyway i have a um a control a disconnect for both bank one and bank two so what i did here um i put um bank one um, channel 1 is for the batteries and channel 2 is for the inverter so I can able to switch to channel 2 just to charge the battery the batteries and channel 1 and 2 when I'm using the batteries simultaneously with a charge controller I'm pulling and putting back power to the system and I have a, um, a voltmeter there digital with his uh, amps and voltage. Right now it's showing zero amp drawing because the battery bank, everything is disconnected. So the battery is not draining. See, this, this is from last night. I've been using these uh, batteries and we're still sitting at 12.2, 12, 12.7, sorry. Here, in this box, here's the DC disconnect. Here's the DC, everything tied up here is the DC system with a 500K microfiber. And uh, the other device right there is a load. Um, it tells you how many uh, load or percentage when you draw from your system. This one right here. So if I turn this one on, it's telling me right now percentage on the battery. Since it still shows here a 12.7, like it's fully charged compared to other people's batteries, uh, like a floated battery. Here it's showing 82 percent so this one tells you um you don't have to draw your system all the way to uh uh 50 uh, percent so right now if you look at this one the microfarad what it's doing right now is charging it's charging that microfarad so anytime i want to pull every load or surge into the system and this thing is always there to back me up so i can pull a lot of power from the system from the battery bank so here are all the connections I'm using um, a three a three slash zero gauge wires because I'm running a parallel into these battery banks positive to positive to positive negative to negative to negative so I'm increasing my runtime here we go see the microfiber is already charged up and now it's, uh, it's sitting with a higher uh, voltage and current 
into that thing. So now I want to turn my system. <clears throat> it's not going to pull um, from the batteries directly. So the microfarad is going to hold the surge and all the load and the battery is just sitting right there. So here we go. If I turn the brick, um, the inverter, we just have a see nothing happened because the microfarad is acting, so it's not drawing anything from the batteries. Here we go. Now the TV and all the stuff and all the appliances, routers and all the, all the electronics are right now on. So um, I'm pulling 2.4 amps at 12.7 what so and right here the grid tight inverter just turned on and uh, sun is coming out and uh, we have a lot of snow right now I'm not pulling that much because there's no sun so let's check this one out here is the DC disconnect from the solar ray the other side I just talked about was the the DC battery system here is for the solar array all the power wires coming here so if you see all these wires hanging right here right now they are the one gonna be plugged into those boss bars with the breaker right there so I can have the flex Mac 60 it's gonna be installed with those wires hanging there just I'm gonna connect them to the boss bars and we're gonna be right here so these are the wires I put some safety on it these other holes where I used to have <clears throat> uh, another uh, uh, power inverter, which is a 1.5 kilowatt. That one I already took down. So I have this one. YouTubers, don't worry. This uh, um, gritted inverter is not the best I wanted. I'm going to put um, an odd back uh, 2,000, 2 kilowatt here, or 2.5, 2,500 kilowatt. So everything's gonna be professional, everything's gonna be cool. While this guy is here, he's gonna be taking taking care of business. So I'm gonna cut the power off right now because we're gonna be getting to uh the installation here on the Outback Flex Max 60. So everything went down. Now see, that's why it's good to have a battery disconnect. You cut the battery off and everything is done. It's shut off right away. So now no load. We're sitting at 12.6. If you keep on looking at it right now, the microfire is, dis uh, is discharging. Because this is not a battery. This is just a kind of like a modifying thing or amplifying the current that comes uh, from the battery to your appliances before the grid tight uh, the inverter is gonna uh, pull any load. So here, let's take a look at outside and see what's going on. Here's the temperature right now. I'm gonna be doing this installation. Uh, sorry, um, the date over there it says Friday. It's not Friday. So we are 27 degrees Fahrenheit outside at 11:40 a.m. Okay, YouTubers. Here is the solar ray right now. See the snow out there? It's a lot of snow. Look at that. See? And there's a system. Then there's a solar panels back here that I just um, get rid of because I'm going to be keeping all my Kyocera's. You know, I'm running Kyocera um, 120 watt system. It doesn't look that pretty outside right now. It's kind of like slushy, raining, and snow and stuff. But anyway, we're going to still install the system and see exactly what this Outback Flex Max 60 is going to be doing to it, working, or is going to be doing with this system right now. Back to the system. The microfire is still di uh, discharging because I'm waiting for it to all dis di discharge because I don't want to get electrocuted with a, a 500k volt microfire. I don't want to be electrocuted, YouTubers. Uh, you guys don't want me. You don't want to see me on that kind of thing. And I'm trying to put all this thing like a professional. And right now, the grid tight inverter is making power with all that cloudy weather, sunny, and all that um, crap going on right now outside. 
we still look good so right now it's pulling it's working and I'm gonna show you right here what power bringing in right now so it's showing it's showing right now 42 watt is coming in the system into the grid uh, into the electric my house electric so right now I'm pulling it's 42 but I'm pulling 6 amps 0 0.6 amps coming in right now at 41 or 40 yeah 41.1 watt so um at 100 and 24.2 this is the the grid um uh, uh voltage right now here's the amps that's the watt so so youtubers the microfire is uh almost discharging you can see the lights are all getting dimmed and everything will be okay within few seconds then you know i want to hold it Hold on to it so that you guys can see till this thing died up. Then I can able to um, start the installation. Those are huge wires right there. And this one here is a three uh, uh, zero slash a uh, three slash zero gauge right there. Okay, YouTubers, see it's all gone. So it's safe for me to work on the system right now. So there will be a part two coming up pretty soon. Thank you, YouTubers.